Namibia has an attractive market for natural resource investment. Renewable energy resources, for example, is one of the leading investment opportunities in the country, offering great turnover. Hello besties and welcome to another insightful and informative video. Namibia enjoys a very high number of annual sunshine hours. This is believed to offer one of the highest solar energy yields in the world, closely behind the Sahara and Botswana, both of which are in Africa. In terms of surface area, Namibia is known to be a vast place with endless horizons. As in many African countries, Namibia's electricity distribution network is in need of improvement, having relied on electricity imports from neighboring South Africa, private and commercial power producer plants are needed here. The coastal region of Namibia where the famous Namib Desert lies have a good wind power resources. This has led to the establishment of the current 40 megawatt capacity wind farm which is being built in the Ludritz town area. The wind farm project was proposed back in 2017. Work on the project commenced early 2020 and according to reports, the project is slated for completion by the year 2023 as part of NAMPOWER's corporate and strategic business plan. NAMPOWER is the leading electricity distribution company in the country. According to the Afrobarometer Ratings, which is the research network that measures public attitudes on economic, political and social matters in Africa, only 43% of the country's consumers have access to electricity. With Namibia's domestic power consisting mainly of hydropower, there is a need to enable its population to use alternative energy resources. The results are becoming increasingly present as the country's power sector is beginning to see positive results from the solar PV tenders. Also, Ongoing efforts from the Ministry of Mines and Energy saw the establishment of the Solar Revolving Fund. This fund is put in action to curb Namibia's reliance on energy imports. Namibia has begun to work on several other projects aimed at increasing the country's electricity generation capacity in this manner. The main objective is to eliminate the menace of bush encroachment, which is affecting agricultural areas. It is believed that the use of biomass can mitigate the effects of bush encroachment. This is another business opportunity in an industry which faces little to no competition. A feasibility study conducted has revealed that there is huge potential of producing biomass from thorn bush, thus driving possibilities of another 4 megawatt capacity renewable energy tender which may become vacant through a public-private partnership. The Namibian government is also seeking to develop the state-of-the-art renewable energy P2X mega project via a public-private partnership with talks currently ongoing between several potential partners. The proposed 6 to 8 billion investment is believed to be one of the largest of its size in the country. According to reports, should this project pull through, Namibia is to become one if not the first carbon neutral African nation. This initiative will potentially double the size of Namibia's economy in so many ways. This hydropower plant relies on a constant flow of water, which is particularly problematic 
in the time of the drought which has affected the country many times before. The situation ought to be remedied by the large-scale projects such as the Kudu Gas project, but the completion is still delayed for so many years now. Setting an example for other town administrations to follow, the municipality of Vuntuk in Namibia's capital has also announced that it's spearheading a solar project that will be implemented soon with the intention of meeting the electricity needs of its population. The project consists of five power plants that will have a combined capacity of 25 megawatts. The three-year projection project will be built on the southern borders of the local suburb Simbambasia, along the B1 road leading to the town of Riabot, and the estimated cost is around 420 million Namibian dollars. Other competitors in this field include the independent power producer Innocent Energy Holdings, which was opened in mid-2015, the Omburu Solar Power Park with an installed capacity of 4.5 megawatts. Located in the Ochozonjipa region, this solar park is developed by Hopsol Africa and was opened back in 2016. Again, on a regional level, a mega solar power partnership between the governments of Namibia and Botswana is expected to generate up to 5 gigawatts of solar power. When fully realized, this mega solar project could become one of the largest solar parks in the region generating close to 3,000 to 5,000 megawatts of renewable energy. The Power Africa initiative was established back in 2013 and has since leveraged multiple experts in the field, aiming at connecting more than 20 million homes and businesses to on- and off-the-grid solutions bringing electricity to close to 98 million people across the countries south of the Sahara. This is a unique opportunity for African renewable energy investors who wish to level the playing field because the country's current electricity demand significantly exceeds its generation capacity. The Namibian Integrated Resource Plan assumes that electricity consumption will grow by 4.5% per annum between 2011 and 2031. The investment climate in Namibia can be assessed as positive and services are highly esteemed here. If you enjoyed this update and would like to know more about ongoing projects in Africa, be sure to share this video with friends and family. Also, thank you for the retention on our previous videos and do well to leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments.